the news. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I can't wait until the paper boy throws my paper so I can read the news. <laughs> ah, I was a relatively small child when I first started throwing the news. I was part of the distribution effort to mislead and misguide the average man and woman and woman and put them in there. Uh, Twelve, I was out there throwing the news. Three in the morning. You, know, you fold up your papers. You know, they drop off a big stack of flat papers. You fold them up into thirds and put a rubber band around them and you... And then you put them in your bags. You got these canvas bags that hang from the, the handlebars of your bike. And and you roll around your neighborhood. I mean, it was my neighborhood. I uh, I think it was like, uh, I don't know, maybe eight, nine different streets or whatever. Uh, and you throw the news. Here you go. Read this. Be happy. Uh, do what we want you to. Wow. You know. It wasn't much different back then. It, it's kind of sickening to think that I was a part of the whole fucking uh, manipulation scheme that had today has gotten so fucking far out of hand. Now we got guys that invested $30 in Apple and they're billionaires uh, because they print the money. They print the money. The guys in charge, uh, they decided, well, we'll print some money and we'll buy it all. And that's what they did. And now we got in stocks in the stock market that have price to earnings ratios now and that used to be a thing when I was a kid. Yeah, you, know, you could tell. Yeah, that's a good cup. No, that one's not. You know, it's overpriced. Well, yeah. <laughs> now you got fucking mm, companies in the stock market that have price to earning ratios of 3,000. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, in sensible times, five. Now, I don't know about you. I'm pretty good at math. So if you take 3,000 and divide by 5, you can tell how overpriced all this shit is. Ugh. I used to listen to the news. I used to read the news. And I used to trust the news. <laughs> the news. <laughs> There's no fucking news, man. Just, this is one big advertisement paid for by, you know, America Incorporated, the, the criminals that run the fucking country. There is no news. <laughs> I just, oh, boy. I mean, maybe once in a while, you know. Uh, some kid gets run over by a bus and somebody pours some gas on him and burns him up. Uh, that's news, but uh, that's rare. You know, I mean, most of the time it's just, I mean, uh, we don't have papers anymore, but, you know, if you could weigh it, if you could weigh it, and a paper weighs a pound, oh, you got like a micro... Mm, microgram of news. I mean, somewhere in there, there's probably a an advertisement for mm, burial plots or something. Okay, that's true. It's the only fucking thing in the paper that's true. All the rest of it is made up by some marketing motherfuckers trying to get your money. <sighs> I used to listen to the news. I used to read the news. I used to trust the news. <laughs> and, I, and as a 12-year-old kid, I was part of the problem. I'm out there chucking them papers every morning, trying to make a dollar a day. Yeah. 
And that was okay back then. I mean, yeah. 12 year old kid, I made about 30 bucks a month throwing that paper out. Mm. 30 bucks a month. Think of that. <laughs> slave. Oh, we got some little slaves. You got our 12 year old slave. Uh, I'm out there chucking the propaganda. I didn't know. Now, I mean, just think about some of the headlines <laughs> over the last four or five years. Donald Trump is a Russian spy. <laughs> he and Putin lick urine off of Russian whores in small hotel bedroom. <laughs> it's a fucking CNN. That's an actual CNN headline. <laughs> oh, well, here's one. Here's one I would put out there. Don Lemon doesn't suck cocks. <laughs> she fucking... <laughs> It's amazing they aren't beating him in the face with a cock while he's on CNN just to you know you know present the real picture. I mean they should have like three or four you know when you get the fluffers in the back they get get these guys all fluffed up and then while Don Lemon is telling his bullshit stories lying to America they should have people beating him in the face with cocks. I said, that would be good news. I'd like, I'd watch that. <laughs> okay, CNN, bring it. Don Lemon, beat, beat in the face with Cox. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, what's next? This is a bit of a rant. I really don't have a direction here, so we're just going to kind of pick things out that come to mind because... Uh, the news. I used to watch the news. I used to listen. I used to try. I, no. Uh-uh. No more chucking news onto the fucking driveways of the innocents. Uh-uh. Don't read it. It's propaganda. It's been propaganda for years. Decades. Decades. All right. Well, oh, here's one. Here's one. Uh, Hillary Clinton has been declared... A human by the UN. <laughs> uh, do you think they get that? Do you think do you think they get the irony of having to say that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh fuck, that's how dumb these fuckers are. The news. We print only you know, what's a uh, Washington Post uh is a uh, you know, all that's fit to print or uh, in darkness, uh, you know, the truth dies in it, whatever, fuck it. Mm. I mean, thank God for Trump. <laughs> I mean, I, I knew that there was a problem with the news before Trump, but holy, but Jesus, he put them all on stage, and they all performed spectacularly. <laughs> we we saw exactly what they are. Uh, news? There's no fucking news. None. It's all propaganda. Choose your propaganda. And I don't know how you get informed about anything other than stepping outside and talking to your neighbors and interacting with people that you meet along the way. But then you got to vote. <laughs> vote. And they even fucked that up. You can't trust your own fucking vote now. Fucking Democrats. Perverted the system. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess that's all I have to say. I, I could go on about the the insanity of our current government nut jobs, but I'm tired. The fucking news has worn me out. The news. Uh -huh.